The mask under the mask was perfect. It was. It was really great. I mean, we're already wearing a mask. Dandelion? Hell no. Too recognizable. Put this mask on. Oh. It would have been better if the mask was over the beak. I know. Yeah. Got my eye on you. Oh, that was hilarious. That was funny. That was really funny. Alright. Is it morning? Ladies. Courtesan. Alright, we have to wait here until uh, morning. Well, well, another freak. Over here? Sure. <laughs> I'm saying we gave you a mask. You can ma use the mask while well, you mask to mask the mask. Uh, this is like some uh, exhibit. Yo, dog, we heard you like masks. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Uh, what are your choices? Hmm, <laughs> what are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Boudoir. Promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrived. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. Oh! For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Gabriel, you've known him longer. Say boudoir! Something. Cabaret theater is kind. The decor should be theatrical, boudoir style. Better fit for cabaret. Dandelion is doing this for you. You decide. Hmm. I mean, it's a cabaret. Boudoir. Boudoir. Boudoir seems like a better fit for cabaret. Just don't go overboard on stuffed upholstery. A wonderful choice it is. Get that boudoir oh, in. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. <laughs> Look at that. Strump it back there. We're looking at that strump, Jasmine. I can't help it. Well, well. Okay. <laughs> guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action, and so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. He'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Look at these trumpets. Despite what people say something. about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. Dandelion? A rationalist? We talking what? about the same Dandelion? Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novigrad in one night? Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Gerald could be a new possible with Dandelion. <laughs> Let me see if I can't find him. I mean, he's a good at the sword, right? That's supposed to be like dancing. Find Dandelion. Right? It's like one, two, dodge, swing. Just get Roche to be the choreographer. He knows how to do the push-ups. I know. Well, I mean, he's more about like um, <sighs> core strength training and, uh, you know, endurance. Oh! Michael Tall Joe has subscribed with Prime, everybody. Drop them pairs. Drop them burrs. Burr, burr, burrs. What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half brained fiance. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Hold on. What are you doing here? 
We were gonna meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice! Oh Less God. for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've gotta help Polly! Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? I mean, you're sort of a dick yourself. No exactly. idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. That's She's not smart. Fine. That's not smart to keep a spare key out here. What's your sense? There it is. Under the rock! By the way. Find anything? Not here. Really? Alright, um. The bucket? Uh, the key. Anybody could have been looking at that bucket. Open. Go ahead and open. Hello? Whoa, what the devil's this? Get out of my ass! This is Polly's Watch ass. it and leave the woman alone. What the? She's my betrothed. But I'm not your property. I love her. I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel. Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. <laughs> Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut up, or I'll split your skull. Uh... The dead one. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right, so. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. He's like, what you call that? me? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt, but its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Uh, let down let him finish. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. Hmm. So, what's all this about? We just want your, your lady to dance. Your is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And my God, fame. you're an idiot. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose. In that case. <laughs> I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Dude. Well, I'm off. Could just I'll beat him up. up to you. Also, she has a very loosely tied Ooh. top. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlicks. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago. The rain's not helping her top either. The old version. <laughs> I, it's helping Finally in a sense, August, right? Got some serious uh, explaining uh, to do. Uh, uh, uh. I'll get the placards. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the... Really? You... No. Said that for the hell of it. Portside. Portside. See you soon. All right, let's go. Portside. Ah! Ah! We received two experience points, Ash. I know, but it's only two points. We're talking. Ooh. At your service. <clears throat> Child, move. Child. I'm dying. 
Dude, I would hate to walk around these streets on a rainy day. Yeah. This looks gross. This whole town's gross. Everyone's spitting all the time. I know, I agree! You're out there in this rain! Bandits. What's he doing to that bottle? Hello? Looking for Rotlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. I feel like we've killed this guy before. Can't let you steal from him? Just kill him. You're not gonna rob him. <clears throat> Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Just kill them. No choice. Oh. Oh, they're working, Yash. They're really Why can't working, Yash. Powers. Seriously. Eat something. They're really working, you. Don't seem to be able to do that either. Fruits off limit in a physical fight. Dude, these guys really worked you. Dead. Tell me what you want. Damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here. And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal Bud Estate. Losing his last crowns at the races. See? Wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. Get the hell out of the house! Get out of the house! So oh, don't touch me. Good God. Oh, he's at the, the race place. Race place. Race place. Yeah, that place. We were there, remember? Yeah. We kissed uh, Triss there. And then Yennefer got all upset. Kissy kiss. <clears throat> and then we wore her underwear, and then she was like, fine. <laughs> I want to do that again. Can we do that quest again? <laughs> <laughs> Make drunk booty calls wearing her clothing. Mm -hmm. Try to pretend to be mages. Where's the bitches at? <laughs> where's the bitches at? <laughs> Yo, where's, where's the bitches at? I'm not drunk, you're drunk. <laughs> That's Geralt. You like it. Do I look pretty in this dress or does it make me look fat? Oh, Geralt. You always look pretty. <laughs> I just like how one guy was like stretching out her dress. Mm -hmm. yeah. here, so you don't... <gasps> down below, probably. That's how you died last time, Ash. Be careful. Well, Rodlick. Seems you're a considerable sum in the red. You Rodlick? Henri Rodlick. Artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. But tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them. As a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. Oh, then bet on oh. us. Oh. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. You've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to the Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Uh, I'll win the race. It's only $200 of debt? Seriously? What's on the race? I'll win the race. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me? Win, pay your debts, then give me the placards. We should save, though. You are that good a rider. Far from the worst. Go tell the Count you accept his offer. All right, save if you can. Oh, God. Nope. I cannot. Yes, Wait. right there. Nope. Okay. All right. Fuck this shit up. Go! You know what to do, Ash. Go! Just keep in front of him. All right, turn. There you go. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, you're good, you're good, you're good. 
Dude's behind you. Dude's still behind you. More narrow corridor. Let Roach rest. Let's try and... Right here. Right here? Oh, 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 yep, 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 I don't Time think we won. Good as dead. Damn it. To I'm so oh. mad. Kavir, perhaps. I'll just pay your fucking debts. Let me pay off your debt. No strings attached. Thank you. I, I never expected this. Can we not reload it? May I right? ask to what I owe this generosity? Just uh, pause. Let's just say I'll bring. Fine. See okay. Load game. That was before. So yeah, yeah that, one, that, that one, one, that one, that one, that one. The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift. Uma, Ash, you really messed it up. You somehow got you outside of the thing. You messed it up. To be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalok, for this was his name, was the elven yeah, we're the best at horse cheating. <laughs> <laughs> clearly you're not. <laughs> We're the best. You are clearly not the best. You fucked it up so hard. Are we on the horse? Okay, at least we loaded on the... Alright. Go! Fuck you. This time, don't let him get by you, and don't go on the other side of the fence. You know, just don't go on the other side of the fence. Okay, so... Try it again. Right here. There you go. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. You got it, you got it, you got it. See, Roach would be faster if we weren't carrying like a million pounds of shit on us. We're not using the right saddle for this. There's a different saddle for racing. But also the fact that we have like a million fucking like well, yeah. swords and shit. That's why, because the saddle we're using is the one that lets us hold some more stuff. Thank you. I, I never expected this. Let's just say I like to do a good deed. I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Fine. See you there. Oh! Oh! On the way. Oh! Alright, where is the nearest signpost? Right there. Alright. God, that took so long, Ash. It took so long. Also, where are you going? I'm going to. Oh. <laughs> Roach, come here! <laughs> Roach! Roach is like, uh... You were, like, right there! I needed Roach. You didn't need Roach! <sighs> Ash, Ash, Ash. Don't tell me what I need. <coughs> Hi. Hi. How are you living? I'm good. What do you think of this game? <laughs> it's ridiculous. There's too many uh, ladies screaming. Oh, 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 also, this guy. guy's still doing this... Can it get any worse? Still doing this mannequin challenge. A killer. The city, but you're Touch not him. Scared, are you? Touch him. Touch him. No monsters here, just no humans. Alright, well, let's just go. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. I told you. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. No, no, not all. But I'd imagine something more, you know, more theatrical. What about Rotlick? 
Did you get the placards? You want a more theatrical? Rodlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think she looks of to promote the spoily. chameleon. <laughs> when's the grand opening? Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. She's gonna get attacked on the way home. You're gonna have to go save her. Thanks for everything. Is Don't mention it. How have I never noticed that owl? What owl? Seems my like cabaret like dreams are oh, about to talking. come true. So, oh, no, that, to celebrate? That's an owl. I'm buying. It's a it's first, uh, gladly. Get drunk! Why not? That's my boy. <laughs> the Roll foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... She say anything uh, about me? <gasps> Ooh! You're, <laughs> she said you fat in your smell. <laughs> She said you've gained some weight, and that you should bathe more often. Very funny, Geralt. Shove it. Well, well. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Dandelion living in monogamy. I've always been monogamous. Well, <laughs> near enough. I just changed muses often. Mm -hmm. Priscilla, another one for your collection? No, she's its crowning glory. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? He was her uh, master, the Avenger. It wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You sound like that's a problem. You, you got your money. You didn't. Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? Dandelion. Ah, uh, that look there, though. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He's like, who do you think I am? She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. She got tired. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. But your vanity. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt! Come with me, please. Of course, let's go. I knew it. I knew it. God, that, that's hard. Did they break her Priscilla. legs? Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. <gasps> oh pardon, shit! You are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Graz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, <gasps> and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. Oh, oh shit. Damn. This is no robbery. So this was no ordinary <coughs> attack. Robbery. No robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. Oh. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? They clearly, like, beat in her fact, up and destroyed her voice. In fact, just this week, a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. Wait, no heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. I assumed it was Don't like somebody him. that was after Dandelion. Come on, Dandelion. But, you know? Let's think about what we can do. I, <laughs> I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. It's a good idea. No need to look astonished, <laughs> gentlemen. Well, this is a serious situation. As a situation. surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac like that to strike UHF, again, um, I'd prefer scene to excise him. Where the guy comes him. in the room and he's wearing Not that like, cowboy hat with like a raccoon. 
tail. He's like, take that off. You look ridiculous. And he just pulls off his mustache. <laughs> uh, can I get into the morgue? Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. <laughs> but you can also get inside through the sewers. Why can't you just the lead sewers. me there? Yeah. Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Excuse me? Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Let's go. Mm -hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. <laughs> Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot about Thanks. Hemelfart. <coughs> Excuse me. You like a Hemelfart. <laughs> So much hemel so farting up in this place. Medicine you practice in the sewers. Like What's that about? Think. So, hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Wait, what was this whole thing about? Damn it, Drowner! You ruined the plot. Oh, you went far, these guys. Also, that guy's still alive. Why is this quest selected? Go see Alder Maverick about the contract. Mm. We'll just find him. Water hag! Water hag! Anna, get out of here! Bad Anna! Go home! Eat your tacos! Also, taco sounds amazing right now. Right? Kind of hungry. Anna! Go home, eat your tacos. Yeah, I know that. You can see it in the stream. This quest is annoying me. Third quest in here. Secondary quest. This one. That one. Here we go. There are no elf boys here, Anna. <laughs> she should know better. Priscilla, how's it look? Give it to me straight. No sugar coating. Her wounds will heal. It's her voice that concerns me. Surely yeah. you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. So we never learned why he comes to the sewers. Because it immediately went from drowners, kill him. The ladder. He's a doctor. He should be able to just go into the ward, right? Board, right? This is the place. Come. The quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Custody. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Okay. Is that him? No, he's too big. Human. Wrong body type. Okay. Let's keep looking. Oh, um... Sorta? Of? No, it's a witch hunter. Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. <coughs> so dark. Okay, there's more. Um... That's a little guy. That's gotta be him. But this one's a she. Remember, beards are no indicator of gender amongst dwarves. What? A dwarf, but the hands. Not a carpenter's. A banker's, more likely. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust oh you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood. <laughs> not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Um, but, 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 torso? Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. 
Okay. Oh, I could have asked follow-up questions, I think. It goes back to his torso. Let's examine his torso. Okay. What have we... Mm, let's examine the chest wound. Let's examine the <laughs> chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, he just goes in barehanded. Lady doors are bearded. That's true. But, like, they never mentioned that until just now for this one. Oh, shit. What's that? An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So, either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Check the scar? Let's check something out. Or, okay. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I could have opened his abdomen. Ugh. The genitals. All right, let's let's do the other stuff before <laughs> I go back head. to opening the abdomen. Hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? So a chance that to text the dwarf genitals. Out, for instance. We'll get there, Jasmine. Uh, uh, Larynx has been cut. Let's examine the mouth. <coughs> Burns, blisters, just like Priscilla's. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Okay. Eye sockets? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some gray <laughs> dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive. Jesus! Who did this? Alright, look at something else. Uh, go back to the torso? Okay. Belly? Let's examine his torso. What have Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogal up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Okay. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. Okay. Oh, so he drank from formaldehyde. Or they forced him to drink formaldehyde. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So they burnt his eyes, gave him a tracheotomy so he didn't die too fast, and then they forced him to drink a bunch of formaldehyde. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? <laughs> he was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. Legs. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He Doesn't clearly like kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Uh, no apologies. We surgeons, we have a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. All right, we all know what to do. Look at the genitals. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? 
Only as the killer's potential motivation. Okay, so we looked at his genitals. He had syphilis. All right. Happy, I think I know mm -hmm. enough. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Punishment? This feels like a punishment. And they left like a salamander in his stomach? Okay, so let's go through the facts. Eyes gouged out, coals put in. Uh, mouth burned by formaldehyde, like a lot of it. Tracheon tracheotomy to like keep him from breathe to keep him breathing, because you know he's not he's gonna be like not breathing. Uh, salamander egg forced into his lungs. Not sure why. Into his heart cavity. Yeah, they took out his heart and they put a salamander in there. Yeah. And then uh, genital syphilis, and he was bound. Um, Sounds like a ritual. I'd rather not share my conclusion because I have no idea. I feel like this is either a ritual or a punishment. It might be a ritual because Priscilla was attacked in the same method, and also chat says ritual. It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets, cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid, all centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. Oh, hi. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted. Drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Okay. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. <coughs> you should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these Hi. people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in under any circumstances. What's with his face? You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. This guy's face As is your weird. reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a fool. Oh! Thick milk. With the two months. Well, while I don't approve Feeling of your willfulness, milky. I Drop also wish bears, to see this murderer. Hang. Milk bears. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. My God. This this artifact thing that's happening. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Hmm. Okay. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I've nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. I don't what want to talk about now? it, but I have Plenty nothing to hide. Leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. Does he not have any witcher potions to make her just better? Right. You know? So I was saying. Alright, girl. Hey, you! Girl. Yes, you! You got water on the brain! What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Be scared of my fire fingers. Oh, who died? Oh, these people have died. 
can't go out in the streets no more. At least my father didn't used to kill women. What? Fool of foul and the king of beggars. Down there? You get no mercy no matter who you are. Eustace. You Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. <laughs> Searched him? You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Piece off, mutant. Oh my god. What uh, was this tell me. Talk. What did you find on him? Oh, I, like this. Oh, I had you wish. <laughs> Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner cell it as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Hit him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit! Boy, he did that so hell. fast. That for? for everything. Yeah, just stay down. Stay down. Stay down, Eustace.